Hey friends, it is Isaac Hayes bringing you a brand new video and today I'm bringing you guys a World War II news video and this is going to be regarding an update that's going to be coming out very soon on April 10th as of right now and it is just an insane update. It's going to totally change the way that World War II plays competitively and even in public matches. I've never seen an update this huge come to a game like Call of Duty so let me know what you think about it down in the comments after I get into it and also please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and if you learned something new it really helps me out let's try to hit like 30 likes it'll really make my day subscribe if you are new and go check out my other videos I do a ton of tips and tricks that's gonna help everybody whether you're a pro or you're just getting into the game I've been playing competitive for years so that's just kind of my background if you want to know a little bit about me you can go check out my other videos but anyway let's waste no time and get right into the patch notes of this huge game-changing update this major update is going to be going live on April 10th and it's going to do a lot with the divisions some things are going to stay the same but there's definitely going to be some new things so let's get off no don't get off let's get into the division changes for infantry additional primary attachment that's normal second pistol attachment and swap weapons faster while aiming down sights have less idle sway that's normal and then move faster while aiming for the airborne division it's now gonna have fire guns while sprinting and diving reload while sprinting climb over obstacles faster and no damage from falling and sprint faster over time I feel like that sprint faster over time is really going to be kind of key for airborne and a lot of people are going to use it just for that but let's get on to armored take significantly less damage from explosives and uh fire damage from like molotovs and stuff like that immune to shell shock and tactical equipment increased bullet damage through surfaces so that's sort of like fmj fmj is banned and competitive as of right now and this could be kind of game changing people might use armored a lot on like Arden Forest and stuff like that and then greatly reduced flinch when shot so that's sort of like toughness and it's it might be sort of like primed before it got nerfed so that might be game changing as well also real quick if you see me looking over to my right over here that's because I'm reading off the notes that I have so I give you guys accurate information and I'm not just trying to recall stuff off the top of my head so that's what I'm doing when I look to my right let's get on to mountain so mountain is gonna let you be invisible to enemy recon aircraft and controlled streaks killed enemy death locations are now hidden I don't know if that was already a thing or not no name or reticle change when enemies aim at you sort of like cold-blooded was in previous call of duties and silent movement so not too many huge changes there expeditionary gives you double lethal and tacticals and enhanced equipment use munitions replenish from killed enemies and over time so that's sort of like scavenger improved tacticals and easier to destroy war buildables and equipment damage paints enemies on the mini map so that's pretty much everything that changed and was added with the divisions. A lot of things stayed the same and a lot of things were added and I think the divisions are definitely going to be used in a bit different way come this update and it'll definitely be interesting to see what people do. But now getting into the loadout selection changes, a lot of things just like overall gameplay was changed and some of the things were each division has a fourth perk and their levels have been readjusted and rebalanced. All players have unlimited sprint and sprint speed is slightly slower. That's going to be absolutely game changing. It's going to change the timing of things 100%. And then three primary attachments for all loadouts, which is going to be game changing. Again, now you can use grip, quick draw, and advanced rifling or whatever it's called, rifle barrel in World War II for your PPSH or whatever you want to do. That's definitely going to be awesome. In each loadout, you can now use one piece of both lethal and tactical equipment. So it's sort of like Ghost. You can have like a grenade and a stun you can stun aid people and that's going to be allowed and competitive i guess because there's nothing you can do about it the rifle grenade aka the noob tube is available attachment for all rifles now and then the suppressor is available for all pistols but i will say one thing if i catch any y'all uh, coming up behind me with the suppressed machine pistol i will send you a detailed message on how i feel about that Nah, I'm just kidding. Do what you want. But two things that they're taking out in this update, two basic trainings that they're taking out is Primed and Bang. And they're taking out Primed because now you're going to have three primary attachments on all primary loadouts. And, you know, there's no need for Primed. And they're taking out Bang because now you can run a lethal and a tactical on all your loadouts as well. So there's no need for those two basic trainings. 
Also, another thing with basic training is they're adding two basic training perks in this update, and they're called Blitzkrieg and Clandestine, and I don't know if I'm saying that right, I'm probably not saying it right, I'll put it on screen, you can tell me bro, I don't even know, but Blitzkrieg is streaks are earned by kills instead of score, and a bonus on that uh, basic training is streaks are improved, and you can select a fourth streak that you want to run, so you can run four streaks at once instead of normally you would use three. And then clandestine is slain enemies drop intel packs that reveal nearby hostiles and a bonus on that is intel ping at the start of each life. Alright now let's get into the weapon tuning changes and mechanic changes that are made in this update and I'm just going to say there's a ton of things that are going to be changed as far as the gameplay goes in this update so definitely if you want to see every little thing that's going to change in this update click on the first link down in the description and it's going to take you to this page called charlie intel and it's going to tell you everything and that's what i'm reading off of right now shout out to charlie intel but let's get into it so the global sprint speed was reduced just a tiny bit it was 1.4x and now it's 1.3 so you might not even notice it but it's definitely going to be there there's a reduced launcher effectiveness against players, so you're not going to be getting blown up as much, I guess. And then frag and sticky damage was nerfed, so now frag and stickies are going to do 10% less damage than they did before, and that's just because now everybody's going to be able to run both a frag or a simtax or whatever and a tactical. The shell shock effect that you get when people hit you with uh, grenades and stuff, like when your teammates do and stuff, that's greatly reduced, so you're not going to have too much of a problem with with that due to the increased amount of explosives that you're probably going to see in gameplay and tacticals have been nerfed stuns and everything have been nerfed even smoke grenades they're not lasting as long and stuff like that so hopefully it balances it out a little bit a couple more things regarding basic trainings a few things were changed so energetic now adds increased sprint speed and it removed the sprint again sooner feature that's because now you have unlimited sprint so it's just going to make you run a little bit faster sort of like lightweight did back in the day and then forage adds resupply bullets over time adds extra magazines and removes the swap weapons faster feature ordinance now adds killed enemies drop streak packs that fill your meter and removes the re-roll your own care packages feature also armored the division now gives you an 80 percent reduction from fire and explosive damage instead of what it was previously which was 65 percent the sniping sharpshooter trait was but dude i cannot say this i keep getting tongue twisted on this part try saying sniper sharpshooter trait 700 times quick within one second just try it and i guarantee it doesn't work and if it does i'll give you 100 million dollars don't quote me on that the sniper sharpshooter trait was buffed so now instead of holding your breath for four seconds which it was previously you can now hold your breath 10 seconds which is a huge increase and i know i definitely am going to look forward to that there are a couple more things in this update that are going to change, but I don't feel like it's really going to be noticeable, so I don't want to make this too long of a video. So if you're really interested in that, go check the first link down in the description, like I said earlier, and you're going to see all that stuff. But I think that's going to about wrap it up. I'm really excited to do a Call of Duty World War II video because I know a lot of you guys love it, and I thought you guys might enjoy this video. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and go check out my other videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream, twitch.tv forward slash Isaac MLG that's I-S-A-A-C MLG and I might see you there so see you guys later <laughs> goodbye